Good morning, and welcome to the online video ministry of the Hyattstown and Clarksburg United Methodist Churches in the Baltimore Washington Annual Conference. I'm Dave, and on behalf of the congregations, I welcome you to our channel this Palm Sunday. Today we celebrate, along with the procession that day, Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, announcing that he was the Prince of Peace. Easter's not yet in view because today we don't know of the arrest and the trial and the crucifixion. Today we know only that God has done great things for us and we're glad to accept his agent as our anticipated king. And yet we live on this side of these events with the benefit of 2020 hindsight. So we also solemnly consider how the week did turn so dark and ended the way it did. Perhaps today our praise should be a bit muted, tempered by humility, born of a deeper knowledge of ourselves. That first generation of disciples were not the only ones to betray, deny, and abandon him. And it may only be a few days from the parade route to the stone pavement of judgment. But here is the good news we celebrate. We have a Savior who is intimately acquainted with our failures and who has experienced our sorrows and knows our pain. This is the Savior who would gather us up as a hen does her chicks. This is the one who can redeem us. So our call to worship today begins with the plea, Hosanna, a word brought over from Hebrew or Aramaic, a word that is a prayer for salvation, for deliverance, for victory over the enemy. Hosanna means save now. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We come with glad shouts of Hosanna to the one who can save us, joyful songs of praise, yet we still fall short of the glory of God, as sin stains even our best intentions. So with faith and hope, we seek God's forgiveness and restoration. Triumphant God, we join the crowds of the ages in shouting your praises. While our lips give you glory, our lives seldom reflect your purposes. We sing easily of your greatness, but living faithfully is often beyond us. We hear of your salvation, yet sin is still close and real, daily leading us away from you. Have mercy on us. Ride into our hearts with healing grace. Forgive what we've done and direct who we shall be. Lord, save us. Hosanna. Amen. Let's take a moment in silent prayer. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes with abundant grace and boundless mercy. Blessed is the one who has done for us what we never could do for ourselves, bringing us life and love forever and ever. This is good news. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Our first hymn, Open My Eyes That I May See.
Someone has said, we don't just show up to pray. We show up to pray to watch God move. It is the business of the church to be a people of prayer. We pray not only for ourselves, but perhaps especially for the world around us. O oh God in the highest, you came to us in a human being who humbled himself like a slave. In him you've shown us that your love has no boundary, no place you will not go to be with us and for us. As you came into Jerusalem long ago, come into our hearts this day. Hear our cries and heal our hurts and hold us close. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. We pray for the nations that worship power and might, that they may be ruled by humility and peace. We pray for all that's happening in Ukraine, for refugees and soldiers, for leaders and aid workers, for citizens struggling amidst terror and violence. We pray that your spirit would bring forth peace and righteousness, comfort and strength. We groan for the day when we will learn the things that make for peace. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. We pray for your church and its leaders. We have challenges in the church at all levels and across the globe. We see the divisions in the Ukrainian church, but there are divisions in our own denomination as well. We pray that we each and all may come to have the mind of Christ. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. We pray for the victims of human tragedies and disasters of nature. We pray for those who mourn, those bearing the burden of grief day by day. We pray for those who watch and wait and pray while loved ones suffer. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. We pray for those who are alone, those who are hungry, those who are without hope. We pray for the discouraged and the downtrodden, for those unable to look beyond the troubles of this day. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. We pray for those facing difficult choices, those weighing many options, those dealing with unclear direction in life's journey. We pray for those beginning new ventures, trying new things, opening themselves up to fresh possibilities. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. We pray for those who are sick and those who provide care. We pray for those who are on the long road of recovery and those struggling with uncertain diagnoses and seemingly never-ending treatments. We pray for those who are rejected because they are seen as being weak. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. Well, God, as this holiest of weeks unfolds before us and we retrace the suffering and death of Jesus and claim once again the promise of resurrection. We pray for those who are in prison, the repentant and unrepentant, and those falsely accused. We pray that you would seal in our hearts the message of these holy days, that in Jesus you are with us and for us in all things, even suffering, even death, and that in Jesus you've overcome every power that would hurt or destroy. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. God of compassion, through Jesus Christ, you've come to us and shared our common lot. Hold us into people who show your mercy and keep us obedient to him whose name is above all other names, Jesus Christ. Hear all of these prayers that we offer in his name and in his spirit, 
as now we also pray the words he gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue in prayer with this next hymn. It is another Carolyn Winfrey Gillette hymn, O God, we rage at hurtful things. Familiar tune. I hope you'll sing. Pope Francis has said that first you pray for the hungry, then you feed them. That's how prayer works. First we pray for Ukraine, then we try to help. That's how it works. I have a video linked for you. It's another of Carolyn Winfrey Gillette's hymns. This one's specifically a prayer for Ukraine. I also have linked for you a way of helping. We have an agency in the United Methodist Church called UMCOR. They are very often among the first boots on the ground in responding to um, a need, and uh, they are at work with Ukraine now, uh, also with refugees. And so if you'd like to work with UMCOR in this, there's a link for you on that as well. Both links are in the notes below this video. As we go, let us go out from this virtual time, this virtual space, and into this coming holy week, trusting that God is with us and for us in every time and place. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the companionship of the Holy Spirit be with you and abide with you this day and always. Amen. Postlude is Stand By Me, a line of which we quoted in the prayer. And then we also have a sermon video. In-person worship times are 9 at Hyattstown, 10 at Clarksburg. We also have a fellowship time via Zoom at 1 o'clock. You would be welcome at any of these.